Hello, heroes. And Villains of Men's Week. Today is Take It Out of the Box Tuesday. We're going to take this dude's head out of the box. Wow, that's really weird. I'm Board Game Centric. What's up, guys? We are back with another Take It Out of Box Tuesday. Today, we are opening up Immortals. Seems like a cool game by Queen Games. Queen Games. The game is three to five players. It seems to be very um, area controlling type of a game. Yep. We got this game for an awesome deal at our local game store. Make sure you support your local game stores because you can't play games in a Walmart. There you go. Well, you, well yeah, you they'll kick play. you out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Local game stores are important. <clears throat> So this game looks like it takes about two hours to play. It even says 120 minutes. It even says it was also made in Germany. I don't know. The box art looks pretty cool. On the back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not the there's, front. There's the back of our game. Zach doesn't like the front. I think the front kind of is... It's okay. It's cool, but I judge this game real hard off the rip. I probably and I just want to say, if this is misleading, this box looks like it's not that big. It's, it's a pretty big box. We use Zoom technology to in increase and decrease the size just now. It is, it's pretty advanced. Right this off the get-go. looks crazy. I don't even know what so, I'm looking at. On the back, it looks like you have the like, player boards that like, uh, like puzzle piece together. And they did not look like they'd be this big. They do, they do actually puzzle, puzzle piece together. Why not just... Okay, why not... <laughs> I get it. It's really cool. It, because these punch out, they're punch outs, and they puzzle piece together. But why not just have them? Am I taking as? Oh. Yeah, sure. Why not just have them as one board? Uh, it looks why like you mix things. You probably mix oh, things. Oh, I like okay, a, that makes sense. This side has like a goblin and like a yeah, oh yeah, Amazons and orcs. Okay. It says over here. So elves. Ooh. This is elves and trolls. Oh, uh, oh, oh! Things just keep popping. Look at that little orc guy in, in that Amazon. Oh my goodness. They're pretty nifty looking. This is uh, dwarves. Dwarves and halflings. And they all have their own little cards. And tons of punch right? outs. There's points and oh, wow. um, Let's stuff. Check this out. For the orcs, they have like a, like a banner. Like the orc art. That looks, looks pretty good. And that was in the punch out. Yeah, I actually punched it out just trying to hold really it. really cool. Necromancers. Dude, you have to have no. They just straight to start printing them different. <laughs> That's dude, sweet. Does he not have eyes? It doesn't even matter. It's sweet. But no, he doesn't have eyes. And humans, of course. Who cares? Who wants to be a human? We're humans every day. Right? Boring. <laughs> what else we got? Demons. That's pretty sweet. And night and elves. And then night elves. That's even cooler, I think. I think that's my favorite right now. And they all have like a thick, like oh, a really nice. thick card that comes with it, made out of the same material, yeah, it's, that it's board. A, it's actually a really thick board. Yeah. So we have a game board, oh. which is bigger than I thought it was. It is a double-sided game board. What are Wait. we looking at? Oh, so this, okay, that's, that's the cool. That's the cover art that Zach doesn't like. Well, maybe I like it a little bit maybe more now. Maybe it's not double-sided. I thought it was double-sided. So there's the world. It's a pretty big world. It's dominion over light and darkness. So maybe you're playing on two two worlds at the same time. Well, if I play it, I'd like to get dominion over darkness because it'll make napping a whole lot easier. Yeah. Got a nice rule book in here. Fancy rule book. It's real cool. Ooh, very uh, large print, easy to read. So that's not good. Check out that. Like, look at all the pictures. It's that large print, nice and easy to read. And then uh, we've got colored cubes for probably your army. You probably have armies and things like that. Ooh, there's some round ones in there. Look at the cubes. Nothing special. Big giant deck of cards. I'm pulling this out. Fine. I was going to save that for last. Too late. Because I think that's one of the coolest things in here. 
And now looking straight down, I see their secrets. I see how they do it. So we got a tower, which I'm assuming... You're not even going to talk about it? Yeah, I was going to talk about it. Go oh. ahead. Go ahead and talk about it. It looks like a dice tower. I'm pretty sure it's how you mix up some of these cubes. Because, you know, you don't have dice in this game. Yeah. You have cubes. It's cubes. But, this isn't all of it. It's not all of it, really? No, I'm pretty sure, like, that... That's like oh, the pool, yeah. That's what... So, here's clear trays. I... That's... It's exactly what I... Oh, that's... What is that? I, I don't know. I've, oh, that's probably just the top. There you go. Wait. Boom. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. cool. That, that assembled it. And then I have got a deck of cards which correlates. If you want to show these real quick or I'll show. Correlates to areas and regions. Oh, that's cool. In the Well, that was satisfying. Light and dark regions. That's cool. All over the place. So it's, it's kind of both. So that's really cool. So what's going on with that tower, Zach? I don't know, but I'm satisfied with it. Let's, uh, I'm going to play a game called Not Mix the Cubes Up. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm actually kind of excited to play this game, so I know what that means. Like, the tower definitely, like, holds on to some of those on the inside. And I have... Maybe it's a part of it? I have more cards, and I actually don't know what these mean. It, maybe there are reward cards. I have blank cards. Yeah, if it's like... Yeah, these look like it might be so... Ooh, there's like... Maybe like a turn counter cards? Like what turn you're on? Like Probably we have so. like one, and then here's another number. Eight, nine, and ten. Um, oh, and they actually have hourglasses on the back. Then the ones Michael's talking about, they look kind of like reward cards. So on the front, they have... Uh, some something whatever that means we'll find out. Here we go. Yeah, and then yeah. it's all stored inside this box, which actually looks like it has pretty good. Uh, there you can see a pretty good view, pretty good uh, storage space. Yeah, to but, store everything. It looks very nice. And maybe like I don't know for different types of cards and all the punch outs and stuff like that, which is really cool. These are pretty nice cards. They won't last forever, but. On a scale of still... zero, zero to indestructible. Five. Five. <laughs> they're uh, very uh, papery feeling. They're not like, thick, they're but not... they're not, I don't think they're that bad. No, I don't know. But anyway, they're guys. Not, they're not cheap. Anyways, that is it. That is our unboxing of Immortals by, what was it, Queen? Yes. Queen Games. And that's pretty fun. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. And while we're not sponsored by Unbox Boredom, be sure to give them a look as you could get boxes every month to uh, open just like we open. These aren't from Unbox Boredom, but we wish they were because yep. they're awesome. And they were kind enough to give us code you can use Centric at checkout to get free shipping on your first box. Yep. Don't forget, every 10 sub new subscriptions they get, they donate a box. They donate a game to a kid that can't get yeah. one. It's a really cool cause. That's why we like to mention it all the time. And everyone kind of wins in the end. Yep, they're pretty nice people. So, why not support them? Alright guys, thanks so much for watching our video. We had a blast opening this game. We're going to play it, hopefully soon. And uh, show it off a little bit more. Heck yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Yeah, times two, I guess. Hit that bell icon. Oh yeah. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's all in the box. Yeah. Nice box.